the, that this one doesn't have a cover on the bottom, oh. it, it, and, it, and it has a hole. Oh. And, and, I, and I was noticing that this one has bumpies, and this one doesn't. And this one, and, and I was noticing that this has smaller petals, and this one has bigger ones. Wow, you were noticing a lot. I was looking at the difference in size between the two. Like, I wonder how many of these little pine cones it would take to make up a pine cone that's as big as that one. What do you think? Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pine cones. You think about seven? I like how you figured that out. You were kind of looking at about the right size of the pine cone. So much wider around. I do wonder about the bottom, though. That was a neat observation that it doesn't have the same bumpy part like this. I, I wonder if that's always true with the big one. Did you say your brother also has a big one? Yes. Is it true on his big one as well? Have you looked? Um, yes. And did it also not have that cover one? No. I wonder why. Maybe we'll have to do some pine cone research today. But, Miss Dunsinger, yes? is that okay when we go in the forest? Is that okay if, let, if I, like, bring a little tank out um, to collect pine cones and then, and then put them in and then, and then put them at the coloring table? I think that's a great idea. Would you like to do that? Yeah. So we can draw and write with them? 